Welcome back into Mid Michigan Matters. The Olympics is underway, and the women's team, USA basketball team, is looking to bring home the gold. We welcome Robin Freilich, the Michigan State University women's basketball head coach, to Mid Michigan Matters. And Coach Freilich, the team had a great end to the season, mm -hmm. a 22-9 to record for your first time season with Michigan State. Talk about the pressure of the Olympic athletes, the basketball mm -hmm. team heading to Paris or at Paris. What is that pressure like at that elite level? Well, they're the best of the best, and they're the best of the best because they can handle pressure and they can really be elite, you know, in the biggest moments. And one of the things we share with our team a lot is stay in the huddle. You know, we feel like in, in the huddle and together, um, pressure is something we can manage together. And that's the advice that you have for your team. Yes. Yes. I think pressure is a privilege when you get to that stage and when you get to that level, you've earned the right uh, for the moment to be big. I like how you worded that. Pressure is a privilege. Now, the men's and women's team both defending the mm -hmm. championships for the Olympics, and a lot of big names like Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, making headlines. Mm -hmm. How is this adding traction and audience to the games? Well, women's basketball is better than ever, and um, a huge part of it, there's been more visibility, and so more people have been able to see, and when they've been able to see, they've loved it, and it's a great product, and, and I'm encouraged um, because I know we're on the upward trajectory with our game. All right, well, the WNBA has been, uh, you know, with the game. There's a yeah. lot of momentum propelling them forward, especially into the games. Um, and so what has, again, the added audience, but even just, like, the different skills that they need going forward? You talk about that mm -hmm. huddle, the pressure being the privilege. Mm -hmm. How can they get their mindsets right and continue through these games? I think what's beautiful about basketball is it's the ultimate team sport. So I think so much of that is managed together. And I think what makes the USA team so great is they're so good together. Um, and so I think they'll find that. And, you know, being defending champs is also a privilege. And, and something we talk a lot about instead of using passive language of, well, you have to defend it, mm -hmm. you know, go and attack. Go and attack and get it. So I'm excited to be a fan, and I'm excited to watch. All right. Well, let's go. We love the enthusiasm. <laughs> and talk about the attack. What are the expectations that you are looking for Team USA mm -hmm. to attack on the court? I'm just, I'm really excited to watch good basketball. Um, there's, there's a, you know, what makes their team so special is there's so many different types of players. There's players that were playing when I was playing, which is incredible that they're still, they're still playing at the level they're playing. So um, I'll be a fan and I'm excited that I'll get to watch and learn a few things too. All right, well, we're looking forward to it. And let's get other people involved yeah. in the game too. The youth, how can they look forward to this team aspect of basketball? What can you get them excited about for the sport? Well, I love it because I've got a, a seven-year-old daughter, so I see a lot of things through her eyes. And I think one of the most important things growing up is to have a joy for the game. And it's something I share a lot with, with our team. It's the kids' game. You know, ultimately, it's a kids' game, and, and you grow up loving it as a kid. So I think step one is to to find a joy in it and to find a, find it to be fun, right? Find a find a joy and a passion for playing. Oh, well, that like speaks to my heart. I'm like, well, <laughs> get out on the court, kids. All right. Well, any last things you want to mention here? Maybe a little shout out to uh, the Spartans. Go green. All right, and go Team USA. <laughs> Thank you for joining Mid Michigan Matters. Well, the U.S. is already off to a good start at the Olympics. The men defeating Serbia yesterday, 110 to 84, and the women's team plays Japan today at 3 p.m.